So here we are in Northwest Crossing. Um, going to go look at the bungalow. It's only a few minutes from the heart of Northwest Crossing where the hall is, Washington, Sparrow Bakery, um, all the retail space, all the goodies. But I just wanna show you how close it actually is. So we're actually on Washington Drive, which is kind of, you know, obviously the main road. This is actually like the last right hand turn you can make actually before you leave Northwest Crossing. And this road is pretty quiet, it has a nice park over here as well. And mainly the people that would be coming over here would really just be, you know, the families that live in this area. So we're pulling up to the home. It's actually right here on the right hand side. We're actually just gonna park right in front of it. It's right here. So here in Northwest Crossing, looking at the super cute bungalow community. So a few things to note, I'm gonna walk around the property and just talk a little bit. So a few things to note is this cluster of homes is actually all condos. There's only two units in this cluster that actually are standalone homes, even though this community is condos. Obviously, this is one of them, and then there's another one on the exact exact same floor plan on the other side of the community. Now, it does have um, roads around it, so you can't really extend the floor plan or the yard space, but it's really nicely done. As you can see, um, this whole community is very clean, very well taken care of, minimal landscaping, which is always nice. So even though this, you know, is a road on the side of the property, really the only people that would ever be coming down this road would be these two homes, you know, the people coming and going from the garages. So it is minimal use. And I think that's good to point out that it's not, you know, a busy through street by any means. I will say that all of the siding looks really good. I like this textural uh, rock work for the chimney. Obviously, it looks like it has good sunlight. We'll confirm that when we go inside. Beautiful tree. You know, this is a Monday afternoon and this road is not busy at all, which is really fantastic. Okay, let's go in and take a look at it. It looks like a cute one. You do have this really cute bench built in, obviously with storage, maximizing shoes and coats. Nice little coat closet. You do have built-ins as well. That's a great bonus. So my first impression of the space would be that the ceilings are very beautiful. They're very tall. Um, it's a very airy space because of the, you know, crisp white walls and the ceilings that obviously really maximize 
the feel of the room. I think that they did a really good job with that. I do like these little touches like, you know, the additional molding around the room, these built-ins I think are really nice. Fireplace, really nice, kind of like shimmery rock, really easy on the eye. Beautiful lamp, beautiful light. You have a nice, this could be a wine bar, coffee. These knobs are really cute. You have these um, really large tile countertops with these backsplashes. Really nice Gen Air stove top. Turns right on. Gen Air. Really fantastic. And microwave as well is the matching set. Refrigerator, also Gen Air. And dishwasher is also, you have a full matching set, which is a very nice. So this is south facing and morning facing sunlight. So obviously you can tell the plants <laughs> are very happy here. You do have some really great blinds if you need to use them. It's nice to see that they, they aren't using the blinds even though you know, there are other homes around here. Like obviously whoever lives here feels comfortable enough. They do have these ones down. But that's, you know, something good to note. And here is the outdoor patio. Obviously very um, minimal, you know, upkeep. You know, it's a nice space in terms of how they're utilizing it. I wouldn't say it's the most private, like this fence isn't, you know, in any way, you know, a privacy fence. Um, you know, I'm 5'6", and I standing side by side, I'm actually taller than it. So that's something to note. So let's go into the second bedroom first. They're actually using it as the primary bedroom. So you have a stackable washer and dryer. Once again, still really tall ceilings. Really great deep shower, nice tiling work. Yeah, you have these nice tiles, these large, nice tiles. So this is a queen size bed and they obviously have end tables on both sides <clears throat> and a dresser. And that's kind of, you know, it's very comfortable. It's not, you know, squished in here. Once again, additional built-ins, which really just maximizes the space. <clears throat> I do want to note, I really like these floors. I haven't seen this color, but with the textural work that this floor has, I actually haven't seen this before. It's a nice combination. It's good color, but also with the texture in the wood, with the knots, I think they've done a good job. So this technically is the master. <clears throat> it's hard to tell, you know, if a king size bed would fit. I think it could, I just think it would be tight. 
I do want to note that their windows are up. So this actually is facing, um, you know, the road here. So they actually have just decided to keep them up. And closets, obviously additional built-ins they have. And then this is the master bathroom. Though they, they both seem like great, um, great bathrooms, great space, both good spaces, really beautiful walk-in shower, built-in towel cabinet. <clears throat> I wanna note this tile here. It's a really beautiful, like wavy, matted, slight shine, but really kind of a more of a matte tile. Really beautiful, actually. And then this vanity is obviously the same style of vanity as in the guest bathroom. Really great use of space. You know, it's, a, it's 1,100 square feet, and I would say the rooms aren't teeny, but they are on the smaller side. They obviously have chosen to use the majority of the space, obviously for the living which I think is, you know, a good decision. That's where you are the majority of the time. <clears throat> I like these little built-ins. It's a great um, organizational bonus just to have it already part of the home versus our, you know, having to add it. Okay, great garage, um, two-car garage, which sometimes in these bungalows you actually get a one-car. And overhanging storage, you have these great storage, built-in cabinets, which is really, these are actually really nice. Yeah, these are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you could easily fit two cars in here. It is a very comfortable, space they've done a good job 